Hello my dear friends, how have you been? Good, I hope. <laughs> Here we are for another video on the runes. This time I'm going to talk about the rune Hewas. Hewas literally means horse. It is a rune related to teamwork, the union between two powers that complement themselves. Therefore, it's a rune related to trust, which nowadays, unfortunately, it is a virtue hard to have and hard to find. But trust is essential when an harmonious relationship between two opposite sides is the only thing that can help us to go through hard situations in life. Solidarity, mutual help, an alliance, because no one in this world can survive alone. Certainly, each individual has their own might and power, their own strength and good qualities, but none of us reach a strong point in our lives without first having had someone who gave us a hand, even a piece of knowledge or advice. No one survives in this world all by themselves. It is a rune related to working together for a common goal. And for that, trust, cooperation is greatly needed. If you are in the middle of the ocean, for instance, <laughs> with another person, and each one has a paddle, if you do not cooperate, if you do not come to an agreement, and if you don't trust each other's life to one another, each one of you will end up rowing in completely different directions than the other and none of you will ever leave that ocean and reach safety. So this is also a rune of friendship, because more often than not, true and lasting friendship is found when two minds think alike and help each other in the darkest of moments, or it is precisely in moments of great need and despair, moments of anguish, and terrible battles to fight that we find the true value of another person and we befriend them. There's no friendship without trust and no friendship without loyalty. And that's exactly what this rune implies. A strong and lasting relationship whose foundations of trust, loyalty, honor, devotion, integrity, honesty and truth hold it all together by creating a harmonious connection. This rune is also related to a sense of movement, journey, travel, uh, the need to change from one place to another, from one situation to another. It is a rune related to the wild inner aspect of the self, the restless persona that hungers for change. But this inner persona or this manifestation of the subconscious is often repressed by the conscious and by the rational aspects of our cognitive thinking. It is, after all, a rune associated with a horse, a wild animal, restless, not easy to tame, a free spirit, the spirit of the wind itself, the spirit of movement. Sometimes we have this necessity to be free from ourselves, be free from our own flesh and body and project our minds elsewhere. There are moments in life, especially nowadays, when we feel absolutely stuck and confined to our own mental cage, or perhaps it's the circumstances of life and duties to perform and the obligation to continue on with the same activities, the same rhythm daily in order to survive. And this all leads us to hunger for freedom, for movement, for change, to release our wild selves and the repressed spirit and gallop away. Carried solely by the impulse of change, shift into another form, feeling the earth beneath our feet, the wind in our hair. So in this aspect, I think this rune may also be related to the filigia, to the animal spirit or the unconscious personality. This rune reflects two aspects that together must work harmoniously towards one goal. So perhaps this also reflects the 
relationship between body and spirit, between the conscious and the unconscious, between the rational and the magical, between the physical and the psychological. Remember that the horse, in many cultures, has always been regarded as the vehicle of the shaman. Remember, in Norse mythology, uh, the eight-legged horse, Sleipnir, uh, that carries Odin into other realms of existence, or the world tree Yggdrasil itself, regarded as Odin's steed, Odin's mount, a transcendental vehicle. So he was, may also be regarded as a rune that facilitates journeys between worlds, between realms of existence or between realities. Just like one's Filgia, the unconscious personality, which can be projected outside its physical reality and transcend. But for the mind to transcend, there must be a complete sense of trust in ourselves and our own capacities, and therefore an harmonious relationship between the conscious and the unconscious, which can be created. And so there is movement, there is a shift, there is mobility, journey, the travel of the spirit. So before we continue, <laughs> I think it's safe to say that he was symbolizes various bodies, shapes, and aspects as vehicles for travel and movement. To the individual, this rune represents a um, harmonious relationship between body and mind. And to the group, the rune represents the mutual help among the community uh, in order to thrive. But the individual in itself is always important, and the union between one's mind and body certainly make a more balanced individual who in turn will be able to help others and each individual together makes a community the stronger the individual is the stronger the community community shall be the community is nothing without its members and the individual is nothing without the sense of purpose the horse and the rider is perhaps the best metaphor that represents this symbiotic relationship expressed in this rune. Mind that one can complement the other, but can never take away each other's individuality. This is like with a married couple, I think, I assume. <laughs> it's not healthy for anyone if we stop being who we are in order to make the other person happy. And so we completely change and our own being starts to fuse with the personality of the other. A healthy relationship, in my opinion, of course, is between two individualized yet harmonious beings. You do not become the other and the other certainly doesn't become you. Both complement themselves and work together to become better versions of each one's past selves, but always maintaining your individuality, remembering your uniqueness, your singularity. So again, the horse and rider metaphor. There is affection, love, friendship, a sympathetic bond, horse and rider that work harmoniously together towards a common goal. A dynamic interrelationship of opposites, each maintaining their, their own uniqueness, their own individuality, but together are stronger and through her harmonious relationship, both can move forward towards progress, towards fluid success, a partnership. <laughs> Again, loyalty and trust built between two opposites. And as time passes by, this relationship forms a strong emotional and spiritual connection, which will only become stronger as time goes on and thus more chances of survival and more resistance, resilience, uh, whenever a, a less favorable moment uh, in our lives uh, appears. A balanced relationship between the conscious and the unconscious, the body and the spirit, intellectual and the 
emotional. Now let's talk a little bit about mythological accounts somewhat related to this rune he was. As you know, the horse has played a very important religious role in ancient societies. Uh, since the domestication of the horse, it became easier to move around, faster, time-saving, <laughs> and the relationship between horse and mankind obviously gave way to several mythological accounts. The horse was by far one of the most important cult animals of Northern Europe, for instance, uh, one of the most sacrificed animals as well. We can see in Norse mythology horses pulling celestial bodies and associated with the orbits of the sun and the moon and horses related to particular deities, especially when it comes to fertility rituals and ceremonies related to the Vanir gods, gods of peace and plenty, gods of the earth. I have already spoken about the importance of the horse uh, in the Old Norse society, as well as a video about divination through the use of horses, horse augury, which, don't worry, I will leave at the end of this video, those two videos. So, for instance, in the Norse mythology, we have two horses who draw the sun's chariot or pull the sun over the skies. These horses are so named Orvarkur, meaning early awake, and Osvidr, meaning very quick, or the name of the latter can also refer to complete whiteness. These horses seem to represent the characteristics of the sun itself, the radiant dawn and the brightness of the sun. We also have two chariots uh, representing night and day, and one is pulled by a horse named Skin Foxy, either meaning light horse or, or the horse which pulls day, daylight, bringer of light, or also meaning shining mane, again in relation to the light of day time. And we have the other horse named Himfaxi, the horse which brings the night, frost mane or suit horse. And I think this one is self-explanatory as well. But quite possibly the most famous horse in Norse mythology is, of course, the hate-legged horse Sleipnir, as previously mentioned. When the gods started to work on the boundaries of their realm to protect themselves from the Rimtursar and the Jotnar, a builder arrives and strikes a bargain with the gods in exchange for, this, for his services. This builder is willing to construct the Great Wall around Osgard, and if the work is complete in a single winter, the builder has his prize, claims the goddess Freya for himself. Naughty boy. <laughs> and in some versions, he also claims the sun and the moon. Naughty and greedy. The builder, a giant in disguise, uses his own horse named Svalifari to construct the Great Wall. And, in, and, and indeed, together, they make an astonishing progress. The gods have given their words and, well, they did not wish to break their oath, but they did not wish to lose Freya either, and the sun and the moon. So Loki shapes, 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 shifts <laughs> into a mare to seduce uh, the giant's horse, Svaldifari, and the great stallion follows into the woods, Loki disguised as a mare. The giant is left without his horse, and he's unable to complete the work in time, and as he was tricked by the gods, as it is usual, the gods never play fair, he transforms himself into his original form, a giant, and Thor kills the giant. In the meantime, Loki uh, gives birth to the eight-legged horse, Sleipnir, from the relationship he had with the horse Svaldifari. We shall explore this in a moment. Now, this is a very interesting account uh, that shows precisely the relationship between human and horse, and both working together for a common goal. 
United, they are stronger, efficient, competent. There is an harmonious relationship between two opposites. Again, the representation of a symbiotic relationship between two individualized yet harmonious beings. And when one is separated from the other, there is a disastrous outcome. Uh, the giant lost his prize and gets killed in the process. So this also shows a certain sense of dependence. He needed the horse and he was well aware that with his horse he would certainly emerge victorious from that bargain with the gods. So I think this myth demonstrates this harmonious and profitable relationship between mankind and the horse. Now, we have Sleipnir, the eight-legged horse. But why a horse with eight legs? We know that the eight-legged horse symbol is often related to shamanism and the projection of the shaman's consciousness related to fast travel, as the horse is often considered to be the vehicle of the shaman. And any other object re referred to as the vehicle with which the shaman induces a state of trance and is able to project its mind into other realms of existence. Uh, such objects are always referred to as a horse. The drum is the shaman's horse, the mount, the steed, that which metaphorically allows the shaman to ride, to set the mind free from the physical, and it provokes an out-of-body experience. But the fact, this fact of a horse with eight legs is interesting, and it is often associated with shamanism and out-of-the-body experience, but I think it has been overlooked. Notice that Loki transforms himself into a mare, and from the mare's relationship with a stallion is born a horse with eight legs. From the union of male and female is born an eight-legged horse. Those eight legs, in my opinion, are precisely the union of the four legs of the male horse and the four legs of the female horse. Sleifnir, with eight legs, represents the union of male and female, the pair that complement each other. In their totality, they configure the divine domain and characterize in themselves the different aspects of the divine. This is the unity uh, previously spoken and also represented in the, this rune, Ewas. The representation of Yeros Gamos, the sacred marriage, the union of two opposite polarities, the inner and the outer, the psychological and the physical, the unconscious and the conscious, the body and the mind. The eight-legged horse, I think, is the symbol of opposite pairs observed in nature, which have been believed in the past to represent the divine perfection, the union of opposites that complement themselves, that together are stronger, more efficient, a symbiotic relationship. Even a symbiotic relationship between mankind and the spiritual. This idea of opposites that together represent a balance or a harmonious relationship is found in many symbols in various religions. Man and woman, black and white, earth and sky, fire and water, yin and yang. Without wanting to push this a little bit too far, I think it is noteworthy to mention in psychological terms that both men and women have feminine and masculine aspects in their consciousness and in their unconscious selves, anima and animus. A concept of balance between gender within an individual's consciousness. Anima represents the female essence or element which resides within the male psyche. And the element lies repressed within the individual, coming alive in their subconscious. 
uh, in dreams or dreamlike states, such as uh, trance states of mind. And the counterpart of this idea is referred to as animus, lying dormant and repressed within the female's subconscious. And indeed, we see here Loki, a male god, shapeshifting into a mare, a female horse, and this fluidity between gender, the union or balance of the repressed personas of the subconscious, anima and animus. And in fact, shapeshifting is, is exactly this, a state of mind, a psychological imbalance, a sort of battle between the conscious self and the unconscious self. Please watch the video here suggested on shapeshifting and you understand all of this, I think. <laughs> so, all of this in Northern Europe might have been indeed represented by the eight-legged horse, in my opinion. <laughs> now let's talk about this rune when it appears in a rune reading. When he was appears in, a, in its upright position in a rune reading, it may signify that your need to move, your need to change and shift from your current life to something new will be possible. Your restless spirit will be somewhat appeased by a journey that will change your current perspective of reality. When you physically travel in this world, naturally there are boundaries to cross, so this rune in its upright position can also signify or be related with issues of boundaries. Boundaries that have been set, the where and how and why they have been drawn. So be clear in setting your own limits. And this is also related to, of course, relationships for present and future dynamic interrelationships. Uh, there will be a union, an alliance, partnership, some sort of bond, a symbiotic relationship between two opposites in order to reach a common goal, a successful outcome. And in order for it to work, you and the other must set your own limits, your own boundaries. A change of life is of the utmost importance, but it won't forcibly come to you this time. This rune indicates that it is up to you to make that choice and get out of that stagnating state. Whatever change you come up with in your life, know that it is for your own good, even if you fear the change. It's only natural, the fear of change, the fear of evolution, because a certain way of life already seems comfortable. You feel safe and protected, and perhaps just the thought of change gives you anxiety, fear in your own head. Uh, change seems to be a, a synonym of trouble and disasters and, and difficulty. But that's the thing. If, if changing were easy, it wouldn't be so hard to evolve. This is precisely the point. You need to make that choice right now. Change for yourself. Risk it. Evolve. Go forward always towards success and evolution and progression. It is harder in your mind than it is in reality. And the boundaries you may have to cross are the very limitations of your own mind that prevent you from evolving. Overcome your fears and your aversion to change. When he was appears in its upright position, either alone, because uh, your rune reading consists in drawing out uh, one single rune, or as the first rune of your reading, you can be sure that things are picking up in pace and changing for the better. This is a rune of large concepts, of major projects and new and exciting adventures. It is also said to emphasize the meaning of the other runes of your rune reading and to speed up the events that they foretell. Iwas is a rune of transition and movement it can very well be actual physical movement, um, physical transitions, new homes, places, new situations, or simply a new, a new life. It also means movement towards 
optimizing or improving any situation. In this rune, there is a gradual sense of development and steady progress, always with the conscious notion of slow growth through numerous movements and changes, numerous attitudes and choices of the past that now reveal the path to change. This can be applied to the growth of a business or the development of an idea. A relationship may need to go through changes as well. Um, if it is uh, to maintain its healthy growth and its very temporal life. Moral efforts and great firmness are necessary when we draw this rune in a rune reading. It is a rune of movement, after all, and it indicates a positive progress in your life's cycle and creates a sort of link, a bridge, a vehicle of transportation from one rune to the next in your rune reading. A progression from what one rune and another expresses. And so Ewas is that connection, that shift. Think of it like a, as if you were cultivating your own personality. You have been nurturing it. You have never stopped evolving. There were right and wrong choices, attitudes, ideas, relationships. Everything that has been building up your own personal nature. And so Iwas is the rune that affirms that based on the cultivation of the self, everything else will follow and come according to your current state of mind, your personality, your perspective of life. When you cultivate your own nature, everything else comes in, in addition. Now, of course, the most usual interpretation of he was and the general picture we have of it is that it indicates travel, movement, mobility, usually to a new location that will provide the physical and mental stimulation that you have been craving for. However, it might equally indicate a move of home or the establishment of a partnership with a person who is as strong-willed as you are. The importance of forming a team, of running in harness and not falling out of step, is suggested as well in the upright position of this rune. It also denotes the need to treat your partners with the respect that they deserve, demonstrating your loyalty, consulting them on important issues and ensuring that the bonds between you and them remain strong despite the changes that are in store. Remember, a healthy relationship is built on trust, honor, truth, but don't let your personal emotions get the best of you. So set out or draw your boundaries or limits to avoid any abuse or disrespect. One thing is trust and respect, another is confusing that trust and that respect with something else entirely and get too overconfident and step out of the line. So be careful. <laughs> the main symbol of this rune is the horse, as it is said, as, it, as I said before, and it is implied the inseparable bond between the horse and the rider. Some Bronze Age objects show a horse drawing the sun uh, in the sky, and in here he was is saying that you have made enough progress to feel safe in your present situation. Now is the time to return to face the future in a serene way, being prepared to share the good luck on your way. Sharing is significant because it is related to the power to feed your life with the sun that illuminates everything with its light. Now, when this rune appears in its inverted position, in a rune reading, of course, it indicates that you may be stuck in one place and that stagnating situation is draining the energy of your spirit. Or this might be a, a warning that stagnation is very dangerous and you have been idle for far too long, you have been in the same situation for too long, or even your perspective of life 
uh, your own beliefs have been the same for too long and you remain on an obsolete mindset. And when stagnation sets in, and if we do not follow the creative flow of life and move towards personal growth or towards a new ground or path, we are in the risk of endangering both the physical and psychological selves. In, this inv in its inverted position, this rune signifies that if you do not make the change, if you do not finally accept that you need to change, you are going to be stuck in that situation for a very, very long time and the energy of your spirit will continue to be drained until it is utterly spent. In its inverted position, he was reflects problems with traveling and indeed vehicles that precisely play, play the role of movement, that facilitate your mobility. Uh, this is suggested when this rune is inverted. That also means people, because a lot of people have influence over our lives. The ideas they share, knowledge, advice, a helping hand, even a conversation can help us to move forward. But with he was inverted, it signifies that your friends and family, your other half, anyone who is important in your life may not be in tune with your ideas right now. And this frustrates your ambi ambi ambition <laughs> with a necessary delay. Partnerships may be choked at this moment, narrowing, stagnating, and the people involved may not be respecting your boundaries. So again, set your limits, Procl proclaim and defend your freedom. In its inverted position, the sense of movement seems to be blocked at the moment. So be sure that what you are doing, or perhaps what you are not doing, is ephemeral. Meaning, make sure your actions or lack of them is something temporary, brief, short-lived. You need to change what you are or what you are not doing. Also, right now, you need to understand that there is no such thing as missed opportunities. You simply have to recognize that not all opportunities are open to you at the moment or throughout your life for that matter. It's just the way it is. Some doors or some paths are simply not open to you. It's not meant for you to cross them. Right now, the real opportunity of the moment may be to avoid action, actually, when this rune is inverted. Certain doors or certain paths simply have a boundary you are not meant to cross at this moment. So do not force it when this rune appears in its inverted position and is answering the question you have asked concerning a certain change. If you are feeling lost, or unclear about the need to act, remember that what is truly yours will come back to you and what isn't, well, well, deep down you knew it wasn't going to last forever and at some point it would eventually come to an end. Because sometimes certain situations or certain people are only meant to have a brief effect on our lives in order to make us grow. Also, and this is the last point, when this rune appears in its inverted position, there may also be health worries in connection with pets and uh, other domestic animals. Pretty soon, unfortunately. Right, my dear friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed yet another rune video. Stick around, I'll have for you at the end of this video Two videos suggested on the importance of the horse as a religious symbol in Northern Europe. Thank you so much for watching, see you on the next video, and as always, bye for real.